Okay, so basically in here, in the DC analysis, okay, the capacitors would be, uh, would be open circuit. So, open circuit, you, you just, you know, remove the capacitor and what's behind it. So this guy will be removed and remove this also, you know. But so this is, this, this is the circuit now, okay? So it's, it's very simple. You know, if you, if you just confused, you can you draw RE in that way. And of course erase it. We didn't do anything. Then if you wanna be sure about your circuit, you know, you redraw this, cir this, uh, this, PCC in that way, okay? Now I think it become easy, very easy. So you can do the loop here. This guy is IB, this guy is IE, okay? So uh, if we do this loop, 15 equal to IE RE plus the point seven plus I, B, R, B. So 15 equal to I, E, R, E plus 0.7 plus, and I, B is just I, E over beta or beta plus one. Usually we consider beta equal to beta plus one because beta is much, much larger than one. Okay, usually with amplifiers, uh, we, we have beta, you know, that is very big, uh, R, B. Okay, so this is this is an equation that has only one unknown, which is IE. So you get IE. After you get IE, you can determine RE small. Uh -huh. Yes. You can determine R by, you know, CVT over IB. Yeah. And IB is just IE over beta. Okay. Or this is equal to RE multiplied by beta. You know, they are all, uh, you know, have relation with each other. Okay, if you wanna determine VC, VC will be uh, uh, VCC, which is 15 minus ICRC. 15 minus IC is known, which is approximately equal to IE or 9.99 RE, you know, RC. So you have you have VC, you have also VE if you want. V is equal to uh, what? Is equal to RE, it's a voltage across RE. RE, IE, right? If you want a VB, VB you can determine with many ways. Yeah. It's equal to VE plus 0.7. Or it's equal to, you can check on yourself. It's equal also VCC minus the voltage drop on RB. So you have many ways to get VB. Okay. So that's basically the, the DC part of the problem. Okay. Okay, yeah, I get the, yeah, putting the VCC, trying it out way is helpful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quick question, where does that IE over beta come from again? When you What is what? This one? This one? Yeah. Ah, so IC, okay, IE is equal to IC plus IB, okay? And IC is beta IB, right? So beta plus one IB, okay? And if beta is much, much larger than one, you can assume that beta plus one approximately equal to beta. Or you can leave it, whatever you want, okay? I usually neglect, neglect the one. If you wanna leave it, that's fine. Because basically all these problems are based on approximations. For example, this 0.7 is approximation. You know? Yeah. So we see we see uh, in uh, in the lab that it, this, this was not 0.7. It was around 0.65 or 0.63, something like this. And this makes uh, actually you know uh, a big error because of this beta here. The beta is you know usually uh, high. So whenever you have you know a small change it will be enlarged by this beta. So usually you have big error, okay? But of course, you know, it's, 
just approximations. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is helpful. Um, how many questions are on the quiz tomorrow? It will be fourteen, and one point has two. Uh, I mean, if every point has, or every question has one mark, but one of them, the last one, has two marks, so it will be out of fifteen. But look, don't don't assume this it's is going to be a, a, what we've been doing. What? 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 I couldn't understand. It's going to be what we've been doing for the homework yeah, for we yeah. do DC yes, analysis. Yes, and DC yes, analysis. Okay. yes, yes, of course. DC, then you have the AC analysis in which you get you get the EV, GV, EV node, or input, or output. Okay. And look, you don't don't assume that 15 question is is, is is you know is big or you know is because basically when you do the DC analysis, I can ask in many in many in many in many things that you know related to each other. You know, so if I if I ask you about R E, I'm asking about R by. I mean, this can be two questions, although they are both the same. They are both related. Yeah. If I ask you about I E, I can ask about I C, I can ask about I B. So you out of one parameter, I can ask three questions. You know, uh, I can ask about VE or VC or VB. You know, yeah, so, and then like AB could be used for GB. Yes, yes. So don't assume that 15 question is, is large, you know, because, you know, many questions will be, uh, will come, uh, the answer of many questions will come from the same analysis. So it's, it's something that you do, some, some math, and out of this math, you can answer many questions. That's the point. Like for example, EV and EV note. Okay, so EV, I'm sorry, EV note is actually EV, assuming RL is, you know, approach, approaches infinity. So you can determine EV first. And out of this, you can put R, RL equal to infinity, and then you get EV note. So for the same analysis, you can, you, I can ask two questions, you know. Yeah. 